The outgoing crew would remove their locks. Incoming crew have to inventory the contents and satisfied. Closed put their locks on for what they hoped to be the full 24 hour period. Now the deputy commander, first or second lieutenant in charge of communications, security, kept track of everybody on site on this locator board. Also in charge of the launch clock. Eight day wind up clock wound every Sunday morning. It is set on Greenwich Mean Time, which the military operates on, but they do call it Zulu. But the important thing is when you're operating on Zulu, you're concerned with only one time zone regardless of where you are in the universe. Locally, we're seven hours different, but that's our launch time regardless of where we are. Pop-up antennas controlled here, monitoring the entrapment area, live television. The captain or major crew commander had essential input for the facilities on his lower row of lights. Middle row concerned the missile, guidance system, the power. The upper row was launch sequence, target selection, radios. These operated kind of like the idiot lights on your car. <laughs> Tells you have a problem, doesn't tell you what the problem is. Now, if the four of you could not correct something in a timely manner with the help of tech manuals, there was quite a group of trained specialists back at Davis Monthan calling in the necessary expertise by 